A group that I am very frustrated with at the moment is uh, the person who is intelligent. Like they have a high enough IQ. You give them math problems, they can solve it. They know how to live on their own, how to, to pay their bills on time, and they can drive a motor vehicle. They're not imbecilic. They're not, um, you know, whether they they naturally had their mental capacity retarded by whatever, uh, you know, mom drinking or it was just a natural thing or whatever. They, these people are not uh, among the unfortunate small percentage of people who, who don't have the capacity to think deeply and, and think smartly. Uh, these are people who are completely capable of thinking. And I'll even break it down and give anybody with an IQ under 100 a break. I'll say, okay, maybe you don't have it, even though you do. Uh, cops are selected mainly between 90 IQ and 105 IQ. So if I'm taking only 100 and up, I'm kind of, you know, that's just to give a little a balance point um, or a, a, a measuring tape. Uh, so, so I'm not being real strict here. I, I'm just saying somebody with basic intellect, basic potential for intellect, what frustrates me is when these folks do not look at the world around them, things, politic, I think uh, a social theorist might call it, and, and I don't know what the definition of politics are, but, but how governments rule people, how people interact with each other without uh, coercion of, of a government, the, the people who don't look at these things and just don't care. And, and my frustration is that I like smart people. Like, I think that's really neat. That is a, a character trait, intelligence, that, that I like. I think, oh, that's really neat when people are smart. I mean, look how much we can think about and create and do, and, wow, that's really cool. But they choose not to, and that, that frustrates me. Now, here's why it frustrates me. Unlike a person like me, who's maybe slightly above 100 IQ or so, I do not have an interest in learning how to rebuild carburetors for motor vehicles. I just It's just not an area of interest. I would rather go out and do what I'm good at, make, make a couple bucks, and pay somebody else who does have an interest in that area. I would rather do that. And I can afford to do that because there are plenty of mechanics out there who want to rebuild carburetors and want to get paid for it. And so it all just works out nicely. And... Not everyone has to be able to rebuild a carburetor. However, in a, a government of mob rule, where the majority gets to make the decisions, and in which is a they call it democracy, but where where you go to everybody, regardless of what they know or what they've studied or how smart they are, or, you know what they know about the topic, and you just say, hey. You know, you have a really pretty smile. Um, do you want a bunch of free stuff? Um, I'll give you some free stuff if you'll vote this way. In a in a type of situation like that, which is what we have in the United States, a democracy, it, it, it frustrates me that people who have the capacity to think and calculate and predict with some degree of accuracy, that they choose not to. It It's... It's so irresponsible. Now, I would almost prefer if those people would say, okay, listen, Shepard, I have an interest in carburetors and in photosynthesis, but I don't have an interest in things social. And I'm just going to step away from that. I'm not going to think about it. I'm not going to have conversations about it. I'm not going to read books about it. And I understand that that takes away from me any right I would have to weigh in on the conversation. I'm willing to just accept whatever happens to me. Okay, that would be kind of an, an honest way to, to come about it. But my challenge is that these same people will vote. They will form opinions based on what they saw on, on entertainment TV, on the, the CNN or the CNBC or Fox News or whatever. They'll, they'll see this propaganda not realize it's propaganda. They'll think it's just, you know, it's it's the, the truth of, wow, well, you have to know what's going on. You have to be informed. And they think that it's an unbiased 
um, pretty good representation of the facts, as, as well as the journalists can do it. And then they go out and make decisions that affect everybody else's life. This group of people frustrates me. And so I guess I would say to them, well, you know, there's no reason to. They're not listening. They don't care. Gosh, that frustrates me.